Hi, YouTubers. It's Smokey 77 Again. For the third time today. I can't believe it. Three videos today. Um, I just wanted to be a very quick video today. These are I already have a planned video for tomorrow. I hope you like it. <clears throat> it's a pie tobacco review. So, um, I hope you like it tomorrow, and I hope the lighting is okay. I really can't help the lighting in this room. Because the curtains just, you know, make a, a bad glare, and, um, so sorry. But, whatever. Um, this is about, um, the future of tobacco regulations, or the future of tobacco in general, and regulations, and all that kind of stuff. I've already made three or four videos on this topic, and I will make it, this is another video on this topic, and hopefully this will be one of the last videos at least for a while. Okay. So, this video is basically about where do you see, you know, tobacco, re tobacco regulations in the next, you know, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 100 years, that kind of stuff. And where do you see pipe and cigar smoking in the next 20 years, 40 years, 60 years, 100 years, that kind of stuff. Well, a lot of people have, you know, we've talked about this because it's you know, it's crossed our mind, you know, obviously we're thinking about this because I don't know, but um so some people have expressed opinions that that uh, tobacco's here to stay, you know, it'll never get banned uh, because the tax revenue from it and um it's just going to be like this forever some people have expressed opinions that uh, tobacco will get banned at a point I know Stormwolf says that he believes tobacco will be will, will be banned in the next 20 to 30 years, or at some point. Um, I read comments on other people's pages saying, you know, where they see you know smoking bans in the next 15, 20 years. Um, so I thought I'd give my opinions on it. So let's just I'm sort of give my opinions on it. So, what do I see in the next 20, 30, 40 years, 100 years for tobacco? I see the number one thing I see is cigarettes being targeted like hell. I see people targeting cigarettes, or the government targeting cigarettes, like hell. I see cigarettes being targeted so much, it's not even funny. I see cigarettes being extremely expensive in the next 20 years, um, <clears throat> all that kind of stuff. As uh, you know, next year uh, cigarette packs will have new warning labels, new very gross warning labels in the U.S. Um, they will have generic packs in, in uh, 2013 and um, that kind of stuff. So, point is, how does this apply to pipes and cigars? Well, the number one thing I see in the next 20 years, 10, 15, 20 years, depending on what you're talking about, I see public buildings in the United States, such as restaurants, um, restaurants, um, tobacconists, shops, you know, tobacco shops, cigar bars, hookah bars, that kind of stuff. I see all hotel rooms, I see all to all public buildings going smoke free in the next 20 years. That's what I see. That's what I see personally. You are free to disagree with me. You are free to say I think tobacco will be, will be banned in 10 years. You know, you are free to disagree with me. That's what I see in the next 20 years. Is all public buildings in the United States being smoke free? That's what I see personally. I see. You know, um, for example, in Massachusetts, where I live, um, cigar bars are supposed to be banned in 2018 in Boston. So, but apparently, until 2018, there'll still be places where you can smoke in the in uh, Massachusetts. So, how does this apply to pipes and cigars? You know, you know, if you're a pipe smoker like me, and you don't need, and you're not addicted to it, you know, you don't need to light up a, a pipe every half an hour or whatever you can smoke a pipe whenever you feel like it, then smoking bans are not going to really affect you that much because, you know, as far as, you know, public smoking bans, even outdoor smoking bans like parks, beaches, playgrounds, 
that's not going to really affect you that much because if you're not addicted to it, you can smoke a pipe once a week, twice a week, you know, once a day, twice a day, kind of when you feel like it. So it's not really a big deal to us as pipe smokers and cigar smokers. It's a huge deal to cigarette smokers if they ban, you know, smoking in parks and beaches and playgrounds, that kind of stuff, you know. I think we'll see in the next 15 to 20 years more places where children are at, like playgrounds and parks, being banned in terms of smoking. I think we'll see any place that it's near, you know, a hospital or doctor's office, that kind of stuff, being banned. Um, that's what I see in the next 20 years for for smoking bans. Um, as far as <coughs> excuse me, um, as far as regulations go, uh, I think cigarettes are going to be taxed up the ass. I think we're going to see cigarette packs that are now eight dollars in Massachusetts being now being like twelve dollars in ten years, and cigarette packs that are twelve dollars in ten years being eighteen dollars in thirty years. I think we'll see that happening. Um, as far as you know, basic stuff, you know, basic rights like smoking in your own house, smoking uh, on your own property, smoking in your own apartment or condominium that allows smoking. I think that stuff is here to stay. I think it's pretty safe to say that stuff is here to stay. Um, unless you're talking, you know, 200 years, 300 years, 500 years, that kind of stuff, you know, where, you know, people can actually, you know, put in secret cameras in your house to see if you're smoking or not. I possibly could see in the next, you know, 30 years, 40 years, I could possibly see you can't smoke within 15 feet of a minor. So if you have children in your house, then possibly you might not be able to smoke in your own house if you have children. Especially if you're talking about, like, little kids, you know, like babies, that kind of stuff. Then I could see that possibly being an issue. Uh, I see social service coming in, you know, telling you what you can and cannot do. But if you're living on your own your own house if you know your own wife you know that is an adult you know obviously and I think that's what it's here to say because when it comes down to it you know if you say to somebody you can't smoke in your own house that you own that's you know you know 30 feet away from another house uh, you know basically if you say you can't do that you're basically saying you're a communist country hmm? or a communist state uh, that's basically what I think. Basic rights, like smoking on your own property, smoking, um, in your own house, I think that's something here to say. Because if you say you can't do that, you're basically saying you're a communist country. Um, some countries have talked about banning tobacco altogether, like New Zealand and, uh, Finland. Let me tell you, right now, when they do that, in 2025 for New Zealand, in 2040 for... Finland, <clears throat> there will be consequences. There will be a lot of consequences when people, when they ban uh, smoking entirely in um, Finland and um, New Zealand. There will be consequences. People will go absolutely nuts. You will see riots. You will see protests. You will see people going absolutely bonkers. And in a very short amount of time, you will see tobacco becoming legal again in that country. Hmm. Um... People have also talked about, you know, cigarettes being banned altogether, you know, because cigarettes are the main cause of tobacco-related illnesses. Um, I could see that in the, next th in the next 30 to 40 years, possibly cigarettes being banned completely, because they cause so much deaths. Um, one of the countries in the Himalayas has actually gone cigarette-free a couple of years ago. Um, I see chew and dip possibly be being banned, because they did that in Europe a couple they did it in Europe um, 20 years ago or so. I see that possibly happening. So, but I think it's pretty safe to say that. Oh wait, I'm not done yet. Um, as far as pipe and cigar smoking in the next 20 years, in terms of the privacy of your own home, buying it um, for a tobacconist, uh, going to tobacco shop, buying it, that kind of stuff, basic rights, basic tobacco rights. I see no change. I see no change. I see possibly tobacco becoming a little bit more expensive in the next 20 years. I see 
you know, cigars that are now eight dollars, possibly being twelve dollars in the next fifteen years. I see pipe tobacco that's four dollars an ounce, possibly being ten dollars an ounce in the next fifteen to twenty years. That's what I see. I don't see a lot of change, honestly. Again, the biggest thing I see is all public buildings going smoke free. And all places where children are at, children are at, like beaches, parks, and uh, playgrounds becoming smoke free. That's all I see, really. So, you're free to disagree with me, but that's all I see, really. Peace out, bye. Mm.